everyone welcome back to another day in your earth and space class today we are going to finish talking about earthquakes i'm going to be teaching you the faults that earthquakes have there's three i hope you guys are all ready to begin today's lesson here we go so the first one we have is normal fault this one forms when the hanging wall drops down so when the hanging wall drops down, this is what we call the normal fault. This happens because they're being pulled apart. So it falls. Now, let's move on to the next one. Here we have our reverse fault. So this is the same process, but only reverse from our normal one. So instead of them coming apart, they're being pushed together, which forces the hang wall to come up like this. Moving on to our last and final one. This one is our transcurrent, or another name for it can be our strike slip fault. So with this one, it's just the two walls that are moving side to side. They don't move up or down, they move side to side, just like this. Good. Now let's move into today's assignment, everyone. Here's today's assignment. All I want from you guys is to just answer the little paper that is right there. I want you guys to tell me the type of movement that those three faults do. I want you guys to draw me a diagram, and then I want you guys to tell me where or which one of the three plate tectonics do you all think those faults happen or where you guys think they belong in? If you guys do not remember the name of the plate tectonics, here you go. These are the three plate tectonics. We have our divergent, convergent, and our transform boundaries. If you guys do, however, have any questions or need help with this assignment, Please let me know. My email is going to be right there. Other than that, I hope you guys all continue to have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.